Good morning, everybody. Today is March 2023. And this is March 2023. <laughs> Here's the thing. I have been nagging Stacy, and I feel horrible about nagging you. Hey, we're going to do a keto update. Hey, we're going to do a keto update. And just our schedules and our life has been nuts. And I know you guys have heard that a thousand times. But there are even times where for two or three weeks, I don't barely even see you, much less get an opportunity to sit down with you and do anything like a keto update. Yes. So what we're going to try and do is, um, of course, give you our weights this morning, fill you in a little bit about what's been going on with us. We are okay and everything is, you know, on track for just just being what it is. And, um, you know, we have good times, we have bad times and a little bit of in-betweens. So we'll always fill you in on that and ramble a little bit at the end of it. But let's uh, start off with the keto. Where are you at with weights? I am 169. 169. I don't even remember where you were the last time we did an update. And it's been a know. month and a half. It's, it's probably very, about the same, right? Yeah, it's been a little less, but it's. I've, I've not been as diligent. Life has been crazy. I hurt my knee back in September. Before we do that, I'll let Bill get into Yeah, his. And, my, and my weight was 332, and I think that's pretty on par with where I was even a month ago or so when we did our last update. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, I don't have any great results, but I also haven't gone up 10 pounds, and you also haven't gone up 7 pounds or anything right. crazy. Um, we are still trying to keep with the, the basics of keto, and uh, gosh, I wouldn't even say it's like a chore, it's just kind of like when you go to the store, you, you buy these things versus those things. Right. And uh, unfortunately, our, our kids still eat, you know, the junk. And we've partaked a little bit into that a little. And I know that's mm -hmm. not good. And it's probably what's keeping us from going down. I'm sure it is. I've had a lot more life on the go. <laughs> a lot more life on the go. <laughs> um... Well, for Stace, a lot of it is not only her knee, which she's been getting these gel injections in there. I finally have had relief the last two weeks. I heard it back in last, September yeah, last, of last year. Yeah. Horrible trying to walk. Yeah, she's been in a lot <laughs> of pain. I bought, I think you're on the third brace now. Yeah. I've gotten her a couple knee braces one that has supports in it, and the other are just to support the leg in general, like yeah. a wrap. And those help you a little, don't they? Yeah, I've been wearing the one with the full support. Um, did x-rays and MRIs, and I have no cartilage, no lubrication uh, in the knee. Um, then I fell right on the knee, on the All ice. All this ice, yeah. Um, so the last two weeks I've been getting gel injection, injections. They were hoping I've had two rounds of cortisone. That hasn't done anything but get the swelling down. So I feel horrible. I can't even imagine getting a shot in the knee like that. Plus, it's, you get another one this week, right? Yep, I get another one on Wednesday. However, it's a Band-Aid. They have told me I'm going to have to have knee surgery. So what we're trying to do is get you some relief with these shots, the gel, give you some lubrication in there, and who knows and how long helps. that'll last. Huh? Yeah, they're saying six to nine months. Uh, what happened is I bruised at a bone contusion, so... I was walking on a bruised bone on a bruised bone with no lubrication Just and no pain. cartilage and extremely painful. My knee would give out. I fell a couple times. And so, yeah. <sighs> Meanwhile, I have not fallen in a long time, knock okay. on wood. Um, but no, everything's been going good for me. Um, we've resolved a lot of my, almost all of my um, chest, heart issues and stuff. A lot of it had to do with just giving up some coffee. Now I'm drinking some decaf here and there, but I'm certainly not getting up and starting my day with a couple <laughs> coffees in a row. No, most, most days, no coffee. And if I do, it's usually a decaf. So uh, I think that that was probably a lot of what's going on with me with that. And uh, I still have my balance issues. I still got, you know, stuff like that. I've got some weirdness in my ears. So we're <laughs> dealing with ENTs and estrusian tubes and all these other weird things, but can't hear for garbage yeah <laughs> and that throws your balance off too perimenopause but, uh, has been still horrible for me 63 degrees last night and stacy was sweating and like <laughs> woke up full sweat meanwhile i'm all covered up to my neck because i'm freezing because it's cold in here but i gotta do what i gotta do to help you and i'm sorry that you're still cold and, and you're still warm i mean yeah 
Yeah, she goes uh, and stands on the cold tile, like in the bathroom or in the kitchen, mm -hmm. like a laundry room kitchen. Right there. No, oh, right by at the, the front, front door. door. Yeah, we have That's some the slate best tile. Cold. <laughs> slate tile right by the front door, yeah. and the front door makes that colder because it's you know right, right by the door. Yeah, so she stands wherever there's cold tile to stand. I feel kind of bad. We we've also got that um, Stacy and Bill's Adventure Channel and. Uh, I think we've probably done five or six different trips, and some of them are me solo and stuff. And I've got it all sitting on the computer. In fact, I have a bunch of video from my brother, who's a guitarist, um, that we've shot, going to see his shows. And we just went and saw another one of his shows. It was a great show in Effingham, Illinois. Um, and I just have not sat down and put things together and processed. It takes a while to edit up a video. And you, when you see like a 20 minute little <laughs> vacation video, that might have taken three hours of editing and a bunch of hours of finalizing and then uploading it. And I just, I'll be honest, just life has been too busy and so many other things going on. I just haven't gotten to it. I've got four or five vacations at least, mm -hmm. uh, probably three or four events of, of my brother Dickie stuff that I haven't gotten to putting up. Um, and then, of course, every time we do anything that's like a, a keto food or something, it's like, oh, I should be videotaping it. But we're halfway through it at the point. And then it's like, well, I guess it's not really a recipe or anything. It's just us making this keto meal. Right. But I should probably try and focus on a little bit of that stuff. And um, like I was saying in the beginning, if you're still hanging around with us, <laughs> is that we were going to try and do um, maybe more of like a monthly update, like a March 2023 or April, you know. Yeah. May, June, I don't even know my months. But you know what I mean. Just like to try and jump in. And maybe what we can do is include some of the things that we've done during that time frame like that were keto related or right. trying new keto things. Um, I think one of the biggest problems for us is to get onto that grocery store. This is keto friendly kind of thing like a carb shell or something. And we, and we had relied on some of that stuff because the kids want tacos and right. we didn't want to make the cheese shells and we didn't want to make the bowls. We have the little bowl maker. It's kind of cool. That's extra work, extra time. And what we're trying to do is run in the door, eat, and then fly to the next thing that's going on or run out the door mm -hmm. in your case. There are times I don't see Stacy more than 10 minutes of the day. Just Today's between been schedules. almost an hour. Before, yeah, today's been go. fantastic. <laughs> but we've been doing laundry and other stuff too. Yeah. But yeah, she's got to get heading out here in a few minutes. But we wanted to let everybody know we are okay. We are alive. Uh, we got some certain medical issues, things going on for Stacy's mom. So she's been out, out there visiting, trying to help. And uh, that's hard. So uh, between schedules, a couple different jobs, plus our own work stuff of our own, t-shirts for me and graphics for me <laughs> and websites for me and Stacy doing her little reservation things for the state parks as well as her Costco gig. And then of course we got body art and stuff and that's starting to, you know, get <laughs> to that point. Up. And then on top of that, trying to get all these trips in, um, Stacey going to Canada and back. That's a good three hours of driving plus whatever time she's there. And this is just when she's not asleep or not trying to do one of the other jobs. And um, we pass. Sometimes we pass for, 15 minutes and you know get to sit down and give you a hug and a kiss and how's your knee doing and that kind of talk and uh, a lot of times it's just a silly text I meow her all the time <laughs> how you doing and you're like I'm doing good I'm like are you coming home meow <laughs> and then she's like what and I'm like pew pew <laughs> I don't know if you have an iPhone if you do pew pew it does these fun things so try that <laughs> pew space pew Pew pew, and it goes. Bzz, bzz. It's, it's silly, but I wish Meow did something like a Meow. <laughs> we can work on that. Yeah. yeah. So, so Stacy's been going through an awful lot trying to help her mom out there in Canada, and many trips, and many more trips coming, and um, possibly even another trip to go to another health facility type of thing coming up. Um, we're not real keen on the whole Canada healthcare system. I tell you, um, we are it's putting it very mildly. We are very frustrated with them. Um, I understand that it's a free system and everything, but you get what you pay for because we're both sitting here just screaming sometimes 
about how how it happens, how long it takes to get a phone call. You can't make an appointment. They call you when they feel like calling you. And then after the time that they're supposed to have called you and you call back, they act like they have no idea what you're talking about or they don't have the paperwork and you have to get another referral. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. Yep. It's ridiculous. After my mom's hospital stay <clears throat> and we got the test results, we went to her family doctor and they said... And this was supposed to be to discuss to the discuss, biopsy results and right. things of that nature. And um, it's a pretty serious, very rare cancer. And they said, we'll get a call from the cancer center for a consultation within the four ne next four weeks. That's just the call. It's not... It's not any we'll kind of it. discussing treatments or exactly right. what we're going to do. It's a, it's a call that we'll call you. And then, of course, we try to call them and say, hey, how does this work? Can we make the appointment or whatever? And pretty much rudely told, no, we'll call you when, when we feel like calling you. It might yeah. be four to Sometime six weeks. Sometime within the next four weeks at minimum. Something like for that. For a very aggressive, fast-moving cancer. That so. you would assume they would want to address. Much sooner than that. So we're not taking that as a, as a final answer. We're actually kind of going another direction and checking some other places out in Canada, even if, it, Toronto. Even if it involves a four-hour drive beyond where her mother lives. Um, and if that happens, we'll do just a <laughs> drive out there. Sorry, I didn't mean to he tap the boob. <laughs> Sorry. It's no, okay. we'll, drive, we'll drive out there. Stacy will take some time off and um, get her mom to where they can see her within... A month to a month and a half just to even get an appointment which we thought this was the appointment that we were going to was to find out what's going on what the treatment options would be and they just acted stupid like why are you here right and it's like because that's what they told us to do after we had the biopsy call you and make an appointment for this right no nope, that's not me that would be somebody else oh can we discuss what they found and what nope i don't do that you need to talk to these people it's such a waste of yeah. time gas effort money Tolls, it was so bad that he crossings, said, yeah. such a waste of time. He said, that's the job of the cancer center. I said, okay, can you spell that word? I didn't understand what they were saying. What you were saying. Of course, he has a little bit of a French accent. So, But I said, can you spell the word? And he looks at my mother and says, I'll forward the report to you via email. I'm like, my mother is 80 years old. Doesn't she doesn't do use email. email. <laughs> so that was the end. I said, can you just spell it for me? He totally didn't even acknowledge me. Yeah, because it was a, a cancer that I had never heard of. I'm thinking small cell, not small cell. Yeah, I don't even want to attempt to butcher the words, but what Sarcomatoid. he said, Sarcomatoid. We looked up, and it was like pretty aggressive, pretty bad, not a good prognosis, uh, not very treatable, not very, not very helpable. And I think that they just kind of like write you off at that point and just, yeah, well, we'll call you in four to six weeks and. <clears throat> and who and knows what that appointment I would say who knows exactly because we were supposed to be going for that consultation and that ended up being him saying I don't do this <laughs> like what a waste of time yeah <sighs> and it was even like that when you took her in for all the pain and all the problems they you put her in a see the tumor they put her in an emergency room corner and put up some like plastic tarp walls to make it a room for like two days right yep yeah, three days almost. Two or three days, and then they admitted her and put her in a room with a bunch of other sick people. And then, yeah, she comes home because they finally just kick her out. And uh, she ends up with pneumonia and COVID and all kinds of other crap, too. So it just makes life even more fun. Yeah, I'm not real happy with the Canada health care system. Although you said the nurse was super nice. Her, the nurse was fantastic. So there you the go. The doctor, not so much. I think nurses get into nursing to help people. Right. And I'd like to think the doctors do that, but they sure do come off condescending sometimes, don't right. they? I think they forget Just, that they're dealing with somebody's mother. What was that one doctor? I think it was a, uh, uh, it was a movie. It was William Hurt. It had something like The Patient or something. I'm probably screwing it up. But he was like a really smug, jerky doctor, and then I guess he got sick or right. something. And, was, you know... It, Anyway, I'm dating myself. This is probably a 30-year-old movie. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it makes you think of something like that. It's like you kind of need to realize you're dealing with people here. Right. Real emotions, real situations, real people. It's not just a word on the paper that we're asking you to spell that you don't have the time to do. And ask them going further, just could you please spell that word? Yeah. Totally looked over me. So. so what we're going to try and do and commit to do with you guys is to fill you in more often and, and not leave you hanging on where we're at. 
Uh, it might just be like a monthly update like this will be March 2023. And, uh, you know, try and fill you in on what we're trying to do to get back onto a better schedule. It has been, yeah, it's it's been challenging lately. I spent three weeks down in Branson. Um, we had a bunch of time share for my mom and dad. And then uh, when they passed, it was given to us, which was fantastic. But it also had time limits on it. And I mm. think I had probably like eight or nine weeks that we had to use by the end of this month, March. Yeah. So I took a couple of weeks down in Branson and just went down there and took a computer and was trying to get some work done and just enjoy. I didn't like sightsee or go really right. much of anywhere. I just, came down to visit the week yeah. of Valentine's Day. And that was fantastic. Just kind of getting away and, and uh, enjoying those weeks before we lose all those weeks. So, but uh, I still going to lose a ton of them at the end of this month just no no physical time to be able to go do it right. but you know we just tried to get in the last hurrah and go Joyce and Branson and nothing was open Branson's dead in the middle of February so but I just enjoyed it and enjoyed the resorts and spent a lot of time connect, connecting with you and you've been so busy with your own stuff too so but anyway um, I will have to start getting working on some of these other videos for the other channel and then uh, I think when we do some of these keto things that we're trying to get back to the basics of I want you for me to make up some more um, taco mix seasoning oh yeah that's something good. that's instead of grabbing that dollar packet from the grocery store I'd rather have the stuff that you make it actually tasted better and it's better for you doesn't yeah. have as much carbs and other weird stuff in it so so little things like that and if i remember i'll grab the phone and you might see little clips mixed in and of these weird little things but mm -hmm. you know just trying to keep keep on course and on schedule wouldn't hurt me to read dr fung's books and get some motivation with that too yeah. <laughs> but at least we haven't gone up and at least we haven't you know I, i'd like to give you better numbers and maybe we will be able to do that next month even yeah. And right now we're mid month, so but we'll still shoot for, you know, the beginning of April too. So who knows? Might yeah. even see us pop in more often with a, a review or like right. oh we found this and it's really cool, we should try this recipe or whatever. And that's what I'm hopeful for. Yeah. So sorry, but thank you guys for all checking <clears throat> in. Um Bill's done most of the uh responses. Heavy lifting. But yeah. <laughs> no. So no. but we thank you. Um We're trying. Sometimes life gets in the way. You know, you, you, you want to focus on health and deep breathing and relaxation and eating better and taking care of yourself and sleeping more. And, man, I'm telling you, there are just days and times that that just doesn't happen. It's not anybody's fault. It just it happens. And we're trying. Yeah. It's just a 1230 bill. I got saying go. some prayers. Yep. We're going to get Stacy off to work. She's got to be there in the next 30 minutes here. Mm -hmm. Takes you 15 minutes to get there. So... Anyways, we will talk to you all soon, and thanks for putting up with us. If you're still hanging around, you'll see us again in, in the beginning of the next month, too, minimum, okay, if not more. But I'll, I'll try and whip the phone out and record some of these little keto-ish keto -ish kind of things that we're doing. That That's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. All righty, guys. Have a good one. If you're doing keto, stick with it, and I hope that you're able to balance life and work and play and relaxation and fun a little better than us sometimes. <laughs> It'll get better. Yeah, it will. It will. See you later. Alrighty, bye-bye. <laughs>